how's it going everybody this is Suleiman Sharif and in this video I'm gonna show you people how to restore your Windows bootloader once you've deleted your Linux partition as you can see there I have deleted my Windows I mean I might I have deleted my Linux partition I'm sorry I have deleted my Linux partition accidentally and uh, I'm gonna restore my Windows bootloader and you can see there um, it's stuck on the grub that is the grand unified bootloader so I've got an error and it says no such partition so whenever I restart my laptop it says no such partition so for this thing to fix this thing up you're gonna need your Windows live CD or your Windows USB bootable flash drive if you have one so let's start up with the video as you can see guys I have successfully booted up with my USB flash drive that I had so I'm gonna click next and I'm not gonna install Windows 8 right now I'm gonna select repair your computer so once you've repaired once you've selected that so you're gonna get into troubleshoot okay so once you've selected troubleshoot go to advanced options and select command prompt and your command prompt should pop up and that's it and there you can see I have my command prop right now so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna sell, type in disk part B I S K P A R T so these letters are going to be in the uppercase so hit enter and uh, once your command prompt recognizes the command you're gonna get disk part menu and then you're gonna select you're gonna type list space disk okay so as you can see there my disk is already present and that is 465 GB that I have and um, after that you're gonna type in select space disk followed by your disk number in my case it's zero so I'm gonna type in select space disk space zero and I'm gonna hit enter disk zero is now the selected disk it says and after that I'm gonna type list partition okay so once you type that hit enter and as you can see there I have two partitions that is one is my system partition that is a 350 MB and another the primary partition what I have that is 465 M GB I'm sorry so you're gonna select that partition in the same way how you selected your disk select space partition to in my case it's the second partition that I have so I'm gonna select select partition 2 and it says partition 2 is now selected and then you are gonna type in active because you wanna make that partition to be active right now so I'm sorry A C T I V E active once you've typed that hit on enter and it should say disk part mark the current partition as active okay so your partition is now active all you gotta do is you gotta type e x i t and exit your disk part and then you're gonna exit your command prompt by again typing in e x i t so once you reboot your system after that your windows bootloader should be fixed and you will be successfully booting up with windows 8 or 8.1 .1, whatever you're running currently so if you found this information to be helpful guys please subscribe to my channel and hit on the thumbs up button you have down there and uh thanks for watching the video ciao